sites. There are four important uh, uh, members under this and all these members they are known to produce opportunistic infection in HIV individual. Among this three members they cause opportunistic diarrhea whereas one causes opportunistic encephalitis. Encephalitis infection opportunistic encephalitis by toxoplasma whereas diarrhea by cryptosporidium isospora and cyclospora. So, these are the general I mean Im important members of coccygen uh, uh, parasite coming to toxoplasma. Toxoplasma they say that the definitive host are cat and other feline animals. The intermediate host of course, is man it exists in three morphological form it has tachyzoids which are usually found in, in blood it has tissue cyst <coughs> it exists as a, a, a tissue cyst uh, uh, containing many small small bradyzoids a uh, tissue cyst is uh, composed of bradyzoids inside and this is usually seen in tissues organs and muscles third is oo cyst oo cyst is seen in cat species so three morphological forms are there <coughs> and if they ask you which is the infective form answer is it is the only parasite where all the morphological forms are infective. But if they ask you which is the commonest most common infective form then the most common infective form is related to most common mode of transmission. The most common mode of transmission is contaminated food and water contaminated food and water with cats feces that means which is the infective form oocyst second is ingestion of viscera uh, containing tissue cyst okay of course, cat we do not eat, but uh, but there are so many other feline animal which may uh, may be uh, they can be eaten. So, viscera containing tissue cyst. Next is blood transfusion or vertical transmission, where tachyzoids are the infective. Form. <coughs> okay, clear. Regarding the clinical manifestation, congenitor. Toxoplasma is one of the torch agent. What is torch? T for toxo, rubella, cytomegalovirus, H for herpes, O for like others like yesterday we have discussed varicella zoster virus, parvovirus, and congenital syphilis all these will come under other other category. So, coming to congenital toxoplasmosis you say that a transmission is maximum during delivery whereas, severity is maximum in first trimester. Okay. and to, uh, during the, uh, during uh, uh, delivery or third trimester you can remember third trimester the tr transmission is uh, relatively maximum the most common form of congenital most common symptom most common manifestation of congenital uh, toxoplasmosis is 
chorioretinitis chorio retinitis and as i told you earlier if the mother is having primary infection then the risk is more or less more maximum risk if the mother is having primary infection congenital uh, toxoplasmosis is identified by diagnosis is by <coughs> having uh, detection of ig m antibody or ig a antibody in fetus we say that ig a antibody is more sensitive indicator than igm more sensitive indicator than igm other than that of course toxoplasma antigen can be detected or you can go for a pcr uh, detecting gene in amniotic fluid pcr detecting gene in amniotic fluid <coughs> okay so this is about congenital uh, toxoplasmosis then adult adult most of them are asymptomatic and among system, among the symptoms the most common manifestation is cervical lymphadenopathy cervical lymphadenopathy hiv infected individual they say that the association is around 15 to 40 percent association 15 to 40 percent of HIV individuals are co-infected with toxoplasma most common manifestation in HIV individual is encephalitis affecting most common site is brain stem and the CD4 count falls below 100 uh, this is the most important risk factor Okay, so this is about a toxoplasmosis in HIV individuals. Diag lab diagnosis, lab diagnosis. They say that if you do a peripheral blood microscopy, then you may get tachyzoids. If you do tissue section. Microscopy, then you will get tissue cyst uh, containing which is more important, which indicates active infection, which indicates dormant. Tacky and brady, what is the difference? Tacky is active, brady is dormant. So, tachyzoid uh, presence is more important than tissue cyst. Okay, so this is about microscopy. Then antibody detection. They say that Sabin Feldman test is a gold standard method. Is a gold standard method of diagnosis. Sabin Feldman test. Other than that, you have various uh, antibody detection tests like ELISA. Immunofluorescence assay, etc. Okay. Then, of course, PCR can be done to detect the specific genes. Treatment: <coughs> Co-tamoxifen. They say that in immunocompetent, no treatment is required. Pregnancy, spiramycin is the drug of choice. HIV infected individual, co trimoxazole is given, is given for prophylaxis. It is started when the CD4 count falls below 100. discontinued if the 
CD4 count rises more than 200 and secondary prophylaxis again you have to start if the CD4 count falls below 200 this is a guideline you have to follow CD4 count I mean the primary prophylaxis starts below 100 discontinued above 200 when it falls below 200 again secondary prophylaxis start <coughs> this is about toxoplasma then let us discuss the other three other three diarogenic the diarrhea producing opportunistic infection what are they cryptosporidium cyclospora isospora they say that <coughs> the sporulated oocyst sporulated means mature mature oocyst is the infective form for all for all the sporulated oocyst is the infective form okay and the description of sporulated oocyst is cryptosporidium it is round 4 to 6 micron in size containing 4 sporozoids containing 4 sporo joids cyclospora is again round 8 to 10 micron contain two sporocysts and each sporocyst contains two to sporozoids two in number in each isospora is oval it is 20 to 30 micron contains again two sporo cyst each sporo cyst contains four four sporozoids four four sporozoids this, this description is very important very frequently they ask <coughs> and among this all the cysts are acid fast all the oocysts are acid fast however cyclospora is variably acid fast and cyclospora oocyst is having a property of autofluorescence also it has a property of autofluorescence also fine then the where the sporulation takes place sporulation takes place they say that for cryptosporidium sporulation takes place inside GIT also inside the GIT that is why the diagnostic form is sporulated oocyst whereas for other two the sporulation takes place in soil environment so the diagnostic form is unsporulated oocyst that is what is released in feces that will become sporulated where in the environment and we, and which is the infective form sporulated oocyst drug of choice nitrogenide is the drug of choice for cryptosporidium whereas other two co-trimoxazole is given <coughs> other two co-trimoxazole is given fine so this is all about then we can discuss a bit about cystode 